mobile handset. Hello and welcome to iNurter video. In this video we will be discussing about mobile handset. After watching this video you will be able to learn about evolution of mobile phones, mobile handset characteristics, mobile handset categories, mobile handset components. There are billions of mobile phone users around the globe. They are dependent on mobile cellular networks for communication at work, at home or during travel. Therefore, it has become essential to develop a strengthened technology network to provide support to users. But it is not an easy job. To provide network coverage to the subscribers anywhere and anytime, cellular technologies need to efficiently use the existing frequency spectrum so that one cell doesn't interfere with the other one. Often to cater to needs of the subscribers, it is essential to reuse the existing frequencies. This frequency reuse is the main principle behind the work of cellular networks. It requires a considerable amount of investment to introduce the first cellular network online. Today, mobile phones or mobile handsets have become an essential part of our day-to-day -day life. The current models have an entirely different look and feel than the ones launched in the initial years of mobile phone technology. Heavyweight brick-lined mobile phones have transformed into sleek and flat smartphones. Let's look how mobile phones have grown over the years. 1997, HTC was founded in Taiwan. 1998, world's first touch and wireless handheld devices. 2004, world's first smartphone with keyboard. 2005, world's first 3G smartphone. 2006, world's first smartphone integrated with GPS. 2007, world's first touchscreen smartphone, HTC Touch. 2008, world's first Google Android smartphone. 2009, launched HTC Sense 3M, delivering unique user experiences. 2010 World's first 4G Android smartphone, HTC Evo 4G. 2011 Interbrands Global Best 100 Brands. 2013 Most Awarded Smartphone of the Year, HTC One M7. 2014 World's first phone with duo camera with ability to refocus. HTC One M8 launched a remarkable little camera, HTC RE. 2015, world's first dual tone finished all metal flagship phone, HTC One M9. A mobile handset consists of some basic characteristics. They are Bluetooth, display, keypad, camera. Let us look at each of them in detail. Today you cannot find any mobile handset without Bluetooth technology. Bluetooth is a wireless communication technology that connects computers, hands-free devices, mobile handsets and other devices over short ranges. It is used for secure transfer of files from one device to another. Bluetooth provides internet sharing facility. Internet sharing enables sharing of mobile data connection of one device with another device that might not have access to any data connection. All wireless internet users require a large display, such as the smartphones. Gaming applications in smartphones also require large displays for optimal view. Smartphones are available in various display sizes and screen resolutions. Mobile phone prices is proportional to its display size. Quarter VGA QVGA It is the smallest acceptable screen size for a smartphone. A QVGA screen consists of a resolution of 320 into 240 pixels. This is a quarter of the standard VGA resolution. Half VGA HVGA an HVGA screen consists of a resolution of 480 into 320 pixels. It is the most common display size for smartphones. Standard VGA, SVGA, an SVGA screen has a screen resolution of 640 into 480 pixels. Such a screen resolution is used in certain high-end smartphones. 
wide VGA, WVTA. A WVTA screen has a screen resolution of 800 into 600 pixels. These screen resolutions are used mostly in devices such as tablets that have wider screens. Further, these screen resolutions are also used in certain large screen smartphones. Mobile keypads also have gone through several improvements over the years. Most standard mobile phones these days contain the following keys. Number keys from 0 to 9. Some keypads also have three letters on most keys. Star and hash are pound symbol keys. A four-directional pad for navigation. A green call button and a red call cancel button. Soft keys. Non-standard keypads contain extra keys. For volume controls, for menu access controls, to access specific functions such as keys for operating camera. Smartphones today have built-in cameras as well. These cameras help in capturing images and videos of high quality. Let's look at few features of a camera phone. Portability Camera mobile phones are light, thus rather than carrying a heavy and bulky digital single lens reflex DSLR camera to capture daily moments one can carry a camera mobile phone which is handy and fits all pockets. Most cameras weigh almost 4 to 6 ounces. Point and shoot capability. Camera mobile phones come with basic default settings. Hence, users need not change the settings manually to capture a good picture. The user just needs to select the focus and press the button to get a picture. Photo editing on the go. Most phones enable modifications of pictures. There are even free apps that enable capturing a photograph and transforming it into a beautiful image. Modifications such as effects, sketching, distorting images and so on are enabled. Sharing photos in simple clicks. Apart from taking good pictures, a camera mobile phone allows sharing them online using a Wi-Fi connection or through an internet connection. Quick Response QR Codes Image sensors in cameras enable the use of QR codes, which are matrix barcodes evaluated by mobile phones to implement an action on the phone. These codes are used to store information such as event dates, commercial tracking, and so on. The image sensors in the camera act as a barcode scanner. Mobile handsets play an important role in enabling subscribers to use mobile value-added services, VAS, Therefore, in spite of the network capabilities, the type of mobile VAS delivered depends on the handset being used. Now let's look at the categories of mobile handset. Basic phone Basic phones have normal standard keypads, small sized screens and common mobile features such as voice calls and SMS. However, basic phones have very less memory to store phone numbers, messages and call logs. Basic phones do not support graphics programming as they do not have graphics hardware. These phones have proprietary operating systems. To develop new applications that can work on such phones, the developer has to work in closed environments. Further, the processing power in these phones is limited. These phones support only simple 3D applications. Feature-rich phones Feature-rich phones have features like voice calls, SMS, internet browsing, multimedia messaging, music, digital camera features, games and GPRS. These mobile phones have multimedia processors, large screens and more memory space than that in basic phones. Smartphones A smartphone is a combination of both the mobile phone and handheld computers. It has high-speed processor, large memory capacity, large display and so on. These phones allow storage of huge music and video files and usage of multimedia applications. Most smartphones today have touch panel technologies which supports sensors to sense data by a finger or stylus touch. A touch panel refers to equipment that enables users to interact with a smartphone by touching the phone screen. Sensors in the touch panel help in detecting touch actions that instruct the smartphone on the position of the finger or stylus. It is equipment that combines the functions of input and display. Today, people mostly depend on smartphones for navigation to unknown destinations. 
A magnetic sensor in a smartphone helps in sensing the magnetic field of Earth and on the basis of it ascertains and provides direction towards the desired destination. The magnetic sensor provides details such as change in the device orientation, which is displayed on the smartphone screen. This information is needed when using the device for navigation on foot. When a magnetic sensor is not used, the position of the user is displayed on the map, but the orientation is not displayed. Using the direction pointer, magnetic sensor helps in taking the right step in the right direction. Magnetic sensor only provides details to improve navigation experience. Otherwise, it is not a mandatory component. Backed switches are used in keypads, keyboards or instruments. They respond to a press of the on or off button or switch when the tacked switch makes contact with the control panel. In several cases, this is just a printed circuit board PCB. All tacked switches contain two elements, namely a moving contact, a stationary contact plate. When the tacked switch is on, these two elements come in contact with each other and the circuit becomes on. Metal contacts used in tagged switch are organized on sheets. Contact sheet enables the arrangement of various switches. For instance, contact sheets are used to arrange components of mobile phone, numeric keypad in different spaces. They also help to design thin and compact mobile phones. Cellular phones these days need large storage capacity to store large size of data. A memory card is much needed for storing huge data. The data transfer between an electronic device and the memory card uses a memory card connector that is mounted on a PCB to connect it with the memory card. Let us have quick recap on what we discussed. Frequency reuse is the main principle behind the working of cellular networks. Basic characteristics of mobile phones are Bluetooth, display, keypad and camera. Basic phones, feature rich phones and smartphones are categories of mobile phone. The main components of mobile phones are touch panels, contact sheets, magnetic sensors, tagged switch and memory card connectors.